Hello everyone, this is Kyle with Red Gaming Tech, and uh, I'm one of the editors on the site, and I was able to get an interview with the Associate Athletic Director of Robert Morris University. This was regarding the, the information of the new esports division for their college, and it's going to be one of the first of, the, of its kind, and is the first of its kind to offer a scholarship for esports. The Associate Athletic Director, Kurt Melcher, offered to give me an interview regarding the team, he he was a good sport. Um, he actually he actually called me. I gave him my number and he called me. And uh, so this is all over the phone. There aren't going to be any exact quotes, but I did write everything down as we were talking and type it. So it's it's pretty close to the exact quotes he told me. So don't don't get upset with me if it's not the exact quote. But you guys will get the gifs of it. Um, now, the interview. You can find it over at redgamingtech.com. Uh, definitely visit, look at it, read it. Um, I'm just going to touch briefly on it. I'm not going to actually get down to the nitty and gritty. So if you guys want you know, to see word for word or you know, the, exactly what it said and what he said, you can definitely go over and check it out. So let's get right into the interview. I asked him a series of seven questions and... Let's get started. So the first question I asked him, uh, how did your college decide to add an esports team to the athletic program? And uh, he said it was it was pretty easy, honestly. He played games like StarCraft, Dota in college. You know, it was, it was pretty easy to come up with the idea of an esports team. He said this there's a lot of similarities between esports and other sports. And they chose League of Legends because it's 5v5 and you, there's a lot of teamwork, camaraderie. You know, you have to really play with each other to really understand you know, the, the ins and outs of your team and how you're going to beat the other team. You have to know what the other guy on your team is doing before he even does it. You have to know that. It's, I mean, we all know whoever plays Call of Duty, if you play with, like, a lot of people or LOL, any any MOBA, any first-person shooter, it's the same thing. You have to know what's going on with your guys and your team before you know what's going on with the other team. You know, the other team does something and you just react and you have to know how your team is going to react in whatever situation. So he said it was pretty easy because we looked at other sports, you know, the the similarities were were there. And so they, they chose League of Legends pretty much because of the size of the community and for those other reasons. Now I also asked him, what's the typical practice going to be like for the eSports team? You know, is there a preseason? You know, if anyone watches the football, you guys understand there's a preseason, spring training, all that, and basketball, and any sport. And uh, he said it's kind of up to the coach to the side. You know, the coach will be in contact with the players, you know, throughout the summer, and they basically will be practicing, you know, by playing online. You know, if they want to play with their team, they can. I guess he said it doesn't really matter. It's really up to the coach. Is going to lay that framework out, you know, of what he wants his players to do, and he's going to be in complete contact with them throughout the summer. So I think it's probably the best way to do it, to be honest, because, you know, you don't have to be in the same room to play with somebody. You can play with them, you know, now today you can play with some guy across the world. So even if they are exchange students from Korea or, you know, you have Japan, you know, the really – big hotbeds of where where League of Legends is huge in esports. I know Korea it's very big. So let's say some of those guys come over here, you know, to get a college education. They can still play at home. And to be honest, you can still play with the guys here in the States. You just have to alter the times. But I'm sure that's something that the the university and the coach, you know, will be hashing out once they get a coach. Um I also asked them, will they eventually be like a sanctioned college sport, like where there's a turn, you know, a tournament or a championship like that, like football or basketball? You know, they're going to be different conferences, you know, etc. And uh, he said the hope is definitely for that to happen. He wants colleges to come together, have tournaments, because, you know, to be honest, esports, it's not that much different than football, other than. You're standing in one spot with a keyboard, mouse, or controller, or whatever. You're not running around. But I'm going to let you guys know, I played football, did track. You know, I did all that in, in high school. And for you for you guys in the U.K., football, American football, not, not soccer. I did play that when I was younger, but 
You know, I just I wanted to play football. You know, I guess here in the States we like to be a little uh a little aggressive. <laughs> so actually I got kicked off the soccer team when I was younger because I was a defender and I took somebody out, so yeah. I was like eight. So my uncle is actually the coach of the team. He's like, Yeah, Kyle, we can't have that here. He's like, you know, why don't you start trying to play football when when the time comes. So that's what I did. But anyways, uh so my my background in athletics definitely I can see how esports is just like any other sport. Other sports you run more, you know, like baseball to be honest. You just kinda hang out in left field, wait for a ball to come. You know, I mean, yeah, there are different positions on the field, but you don't run like you do in football. Or I mean you don't even run in football like you do in soccer or basketball. But anyways, I think that's the only difference. But there really isn't that much a big of a difference, and that's kind of what they said. You know, they want they want this to become a sanctioned college sport. You know, we'll we'll see. So, question four, I asked them, you know, would there be other games added than League of Legends? You know, what other games you know are they looking to? Also, they have different players for every game, or would there be some crossover if a player is mastered more than one? And uh, they definitely said League of Legends is a starting point. You know, they, they want to get the ball rolling, you know, and add other teams to the eSports offerings. You know, there other games they're looking into. They're looking into StarCraft 2, Dota 2, you know, looking into Hearthstone. Just stuff that's that's coming up that's big. They want a big audience. They want stuff like that. So they they want somebody to be interested in what they have to offer. So that's that's kind of what they're looking into. And also, they, they don't know if they want crossover. You know, the athletic director is pretty certain in saying, you know, if you're in the League of Legends team, you're playing League of Legends. Um, they, they want that chemistry there. And they hope to get people that are complete masters of every game. But you never know. You know, if they can find somebody that's, I'm sure, a master of League of Legends, you know, and maybe one of the others, you know, there might be... A uh, consideration of having them be a crossover to both teams, but I think for now they just want you know one single team, you know one one team per game type deal. They don't want any crossover. I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, uh, question five. You know what? What are they looking for in a coach? You know what qualities? You know they I asked if they were ready to announce coach, and that was a no. They they're just they're looking at the candidates. So I asked them, you know, who are the lead candidates to coach the team, and they didn't really have a comment on that. Uh, they just said that they're they're looking into it just the same as any other coaching search out there. So uh, the type of coach they're looking for, though, they're looking for a guy who's a good teacher and understands both esports and academics. You know, they want somebody that's going to push the kids to go to class. You know, stuff like that, and. They've reached out some games people, they said. I don't exactly know what that means, but I'm guessing it's just some people in the industry. And uh, they've had people reach out to them, and they said they've had a lot of support since the announcement that uh, that they had this eSports team coming up. They don't really know when they're going to have a coach. They said that they the team, you know, question seven, I asked them, you know, when's it actually going to start? And they said late September, so... I'm I'm guessing there's going to be a coach name fairly soon, and when they do, I'll uh, I'll see if I can try to get an interview with them, and I'll definitely bring you guys you know all the news regarding this team. You know I'm pretty excited about it. You know I like sports and I like video games, so hey, esports you know actually is a college sport. It's a pretty big thing. Uh, question six: How would you guys generate interview or revenue for the team? And uh, because you guys know any college or university has to generate revenue with whatever sport they're doing. If they don't, it's a complete loss. And certain sports will pay for others, but something like esports, it's, you know, they're the only ones in the country doing it. That's, oh, well, I'm sorry. They're the only ones in the country actually giving a scholarship for it. Uh, I, I don't know. They're going to have to generate some sort of revenue. And I think. You know, face it, they chose League of Legends. Why? Because it generates the most revenue. It's the biggest game. It's got the most watchers out there. That's why. They didn't They didn't pick it because, oh, the game's so much better. Because there's 100 mobiles they could have chose from. You know, and they, and they chose that over StarCraft 2 or Dota 2. So, you know revenue's a reason. And that's kind of why I brought this question up. So, he uh, he said there there isn't really... They don't know... 
Uh, there, there's a framework in place to kind of get the team going, but they, they want that coach to come in and, and really, you know, put his, put his stamp on this whole organization, this whole esports athletics. And, uh, they, he said that they're going to be more knowledgeable on how to set it up. They're going to be the ones to really just forge you know, how this is going to go for this university and maybe others. And they, they said revenue isn't the biggest thing, which maybe it's not the biggest thing, but, you know, I think it's there's a reason for making an eSports team. And uh, they said that it's more, the students are more academically responsible than, you know, revenue. So academics mean more than revenue, basically. But... There has to be some sort of revenue in there. So they didn't really bring anything to the table when it came to that. But I do understand, you know, they, the guy, you know, they, they might not know that much about the whole revenue of esports. You know, maybe Kurt Melcher, you know, he, he just, yeah, he might have played them, you know, was interested in it. So he said, oh, yeah, we'll give a guy, you know, we'll give a team of five people a chance. We'll give them a scholarship, come to school, and, you know, see what we can do. But I think this will be a precedent for other colleges in the future, and I really do believe this is a big thing for esports. Alrighty, and I think that's all I had today. So definitely go to redgamingtech.com, look it up, and uh, you guys can actually go to redgamingtech.com slash Robert Morris Esports is actually the URL of the article. So go there and uh, check it out. All right, this is Kyle, Red Gaming Tech Editor. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one.